Yo, what is up guys, Ultra Balls back with another SPL game. Uh, today we have a U, uh, Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon OU game between Brofist and Black Oblivion. Uh, two really good players. We see Brofist decides to uh, to uh, bring some stall here, so hopefully this doesn't take too long. Because I got shit to do. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, so this is uh, BTB, or this is the same six mons that BTB used when he stalled last week. Um, or week two, I guess I should say. This is a week three game. But... The sets could be different, so I, I don't want to say for sure it's the same team because, like, for example, BTB's team last week, the uh, Zapdos was HP Ice, when I really thought it should have been def or uh, Heat Wave, but, um, alas, um, yeah, because I feel like, like, that's the Kartana switch in, so I feel like it has to have Heat Wave, but regardless, uh, we'll see if the sets are the same. Um, but yeah, Black Oblivion leads off with Pex on the Sableye to try and burn it. Gets a turn one, which is nice, for sure. Although, I, uh, Brofist will obviously have Heal Bell on either the Chansey or the Clefable. Um, but yeah, like, the, the thing is, like, Black Oblivion doesn't really have a switch in to Wisp or Knock Off. Because, like, I mean, I guess you'd go, like, Magnezone eventually. But even Magnezone doesn't beat Sableye because they run Spadef. So he doesn't really have anything that 1v1s the Sableye. But I guess Magnezone could could force it out because of the threat of spadef drop so we see the recover here on the sableye also probably wanting to scout if this suspects but i would assume that it's scarf on this team for sure um and on black oblivion side the scarf is probably either the lando or the latios so double into scissor on the chance is really nice so yeah um what i would assume is that the z move it's probably scarf zone and then either the lando or the latios La or Latios or Scarf. The other one's probably Z-Move would be the way I looked at look at it now. Uh, Rocks are probably on Mamo, and Mamo is probably either going to be Life Orb or Metronome. Uh, Metronome's a set that has been used uh, at least once, if not twice already, SPL. And, like, in general, Mamo's kind of making a bit of a comeback. It's seen a decent amount of usage, and most teams just don't have switch-ins. Like, for example, if this is Metronome Mamo, it's just going to 6-0 Brofist, I feel like. I don't know how he beats it. Uh, so we said SD on Protect, which is cool. Um, I don't really know what Protect... I'm not exactly sure what the Protect was for. Because, I mean, Black Oblivion was either... Oh, I guess maybe scouting for Knockoff. Not wanting to see... Or see if... Yeah, if the... Because if the Scizor had Knockoff, it would probably go for it there. To either knock the Zap or the, the, the Chansey. So I guess that's what the Protect was for. But I'm not positive. Either way, he got an SD. So that forced him into the Zapdos. And uh, Black Oblivion was able to capitalize on that with a U-turn. So now Mammo comes in. And like I said, if it's Metronome, it's a huge problem. Um, if it's Life Orb, it's not as bad because I'm pretty sure Clefable would wall it. Or, at, yeah. Maybe it wouldn't be able to switch in with Hazards up, but after, like, Mammo wouldn't be able to beat it 1v1. And you could just Wish Protect stall, uh, Life Orb stall it. But if it's Metronome, it's going to be really hard because uh, Brof is not going to be able to heal up on the Mammo Swine. And it's eventually just going to, like, kill everything. Um, but he gets rocks up here, which is really nice. Uh, if he could pressure the Zapdos and keep rocks up, it's going to help him a lot. Because, like I said, the only Mon that really puts in a lot of work this game, I'd say it'd be the Mamoswine. Um, the Scizor could pivot into, like, the Chansey and the Clef and stuff like that, but it's not really going to be able to break a Brofist team at all. Uh, yeah, so we'll see now. So this Clefable, um, when BTB used this stall, uh, the Clefable was Flamethrower to make up for the lack of fire move on the Zapdos. Um... But the uh, another option, because the Chansey has Protect now, I'm pretty sure this is Heal Bell. And then there's probably Heat Wave on the Zapdos, because the other three moves on the Chansey should be... Uh, or Rocks could also be on Hippo. So I guess it could be pro what, Protect, Heal Bell, Seismic Toss, um, Soft Boiled, I guess, could be the ch Chansey set. But yeah, I guess we'll see. So we see a Wish on Clef, and uh, we see the Hard Switch into Scizor. The thing is, like, um, Brofist doesn't have to switch out here, because... Uh, even if Scizor bullet punches, it's, it does like less than half, and then it's going to get the wish back anyway, so it could stay in here, predicting a U-turn. Otherwise, Brofus might want to go uh, into Zapdos, because Zap's already taken some damage, and wishing into Zapdos would put that thing back in f at full, and you could potentially get the rocks off. The problem is, if Black Oblivion U-turns, yeah, so like if you want Zapdos there, then the Mamoswine just comes back in, which is why I agree with not going to Zap there. Uh, and Sableye seems to make sense, and you're going to be able to wish it back to full. So, looking at Brofist's team, if I was going to use this stall, I'm pretty sure what I would do is just put Rocks on Chansey, and Heal Bell on Clef, Heat Wave on Zapdos, and Ice Fang on, on uh, Hippo would probably be what I would do. Or Rocks on um, 
Hippo, and I keep Protect on Chansey. But either way, I think that the team's better if you put Heat Wave on Zap and Ice Fang on Hippo as a secondary Zygarde check. You already have Clef that could deal with Zygarde, kind of, but if Rocks go up, it doesn't really switch into Banded. And uh, if it has a Steel move, then you're in trouble too. So I feel like, in general, I think the Stall team would work best with Ice Fang on Hippo, Fire move on Zapdos, Heal Bell on Clefable. Yeah. That's my that's my my stall that's my uh, my stall lord input there, even though yeah, I don't use stall very much. But I actually stall is kind of fun to build. It's just not fun. For, I just don't enjoy playing it very much. But it's fun to build because uh, you have to th think of ways to beat like every threat that the tier could present to you. So it's like the coolest team building challenge to me is like building stall. But other than building, I just don't have very much fun playing it. But yeah, all right. So regardless, so now. Um, Black Oblivion could SD again to pressure the Zapdos. Uh, Brofist might want to... Yeah, okay, he goes Hippo instead of Zap because he doesn't want the, the Mamoswine coming in. So yeah, like I agree with these plays of not going to Mamo, but... Uh, so now Brofist, if the Rocks are on the Hippo, could get the Rocks up. And I just noticed, yeah, it's uh, Sand Force Hippo. Is that its other ability? Because <laughs> yeah, you don't want your own guys taking Chip, so it makes sense. Uh, we don't see Leftovers, so it's probably Helmet. But yeah, I guess Black Oblivion could just U-turn here. Um, or if he's predicting rocks, he SDs again. And now the Hippo is pretty much uh, forced to Whirlwind if he has it. So yeah, I would assume that uh, Hippo will Whirlwind here. I know um, BTB's team did have Whirlwind. It's pretty standard on Stall Hippo. Pretty much on every Hippo. I mean, it's a pretty common move, but yeah. So Black Oblivion just bullet punches, I think predicting the Whirlwind because he wants to get pulled out into something else. And he gets the Latios, which is really nice because it's going to prevent the Hippo from healing. So now Brofist, uh, two plays are um, Jirachi or um, the other play would be going to Sableye because it would cover Trick if he doesn't want the Jirachi to get um, to get tricked. But instead we just go uh, double into Lando on the Jirachi, which is a really nice play. Uh, and like I said, this is probably either Scarf or um, or the, the Latios is Scarf. So if the Lottie Scarf, this would mean that the Landers is probably Z-Move, uh, would be my guess. I mean, I guess Mamo is a potential Z-Move user, but I feel like that's not very good. So it's probably Z-Move this, and now it's pretty much confirmed to be Z-Move this. And uh, I think Brofist has to sack something now. Uh, he can't even go zap on Earthquake because it'll just die to Sky Strike the next turn at plus two. Especially because now, like, for a while, a lot of stall Zapdos would run speed for, like, Landers with HP Ice. But now it's kind of more important to be able to take a Z move from Kartana. So they usually tend to run more defense. Um, so I would assume that this Landers would outspeed the Zapdos anyway, kills it the next turn with uh, Sky Strike. So Brofis probably is going to sack, I don't know, maybe Hippo because that thing's really low and doesn't really heal on much. Uh, yeah, and you don't want to go hard Clef, because what you're going to have to do is after you sack something, then you go Clefable, and you could stall it, stall out the Landris. Uh, even if it doesn't waste the Z-move here, it doesn't matter. You still wall, because you just wish, and then protect, uh, and eventually the Landris will just stall out. So, yeah, Clefable is, of course, going to wish here, and I think Black Oblivion just has to Earthquake. Like I said, Z-move doesn't do anything, because you're not going to kill the Clefable, and then it's just going to protect on the next turn. So that doesn't actually get you anywhere. So that's why he just earthquakes and probably like there's no way Brofist is going to risk the Z move coming out here. So he's definitely uh, protecting. So gravity is a cool play. I was going to say SD again or gravity, whatever. You don't want to waste earthquake PP for no reason when you know the protects coming out. So we see another earthquake as there's going to be a wish again by Brofist. Once again, there's no Brofist should never risk Z move. So he should always protect here. So I think Black Oblivion is in it's in his best interest to I. I honestly don't know. I feel like this thing just gets walled. So I would probably switch out. Yeah, see, this is why I wouldn't have done this. I feel like you could have saved the Z-move for later on. Because if the Landers ever came back out on the Jirachi, you would pretty much get another kill. Because Clefable can't take uh, Z -move, Earthquake into Z-move. Uh, and it has to waste the one turn clicking Wish. It doesn't get like the automatic recovery. So that's why I feel like... Yeah, I feel like I wouldn't have wasted the Z-move there, because Landers would have gotten another kill if it came in on Jirachi later, pretty much. But now the Clefable will be able to switch in for free every time, uh, as long as he keeps it at 100%. So I think Black Oblivion is kind of forced out here, probably going to go into the Scizor. Uh, as Brofist wished, I guess he could just throw off Moonblast here, unless you're afraid of getting crit, because like, high roll crit, or even just a mid roll crit will probably kill from here. So you probably don't want to risk that. Um, so I might just protect, and like, cause if you go Scizor, what's Moon, he does just Moonblast, so, uh, if there was an EQ crit there, that could have been bad, 
But like, cause the Moonblast doesn't do any damage to Scizor anyway, that's why I felt like it wasn't really necessary. Uh, Clefable Heal Bells, so, uh, cures the burn, so we see that pretty much confirms that it is gonna be a fire move on the Zapdos. Uh, we SD on the Scizors, Clefable's just gonna wish again, and now, I honestly think Brofist could stay in predicting U-turn, because even if there is the Bullet Punch, it doesn't really do anything, um... It's going to do like 45 to 50, and then the Clefable just heals back up to full, obviously, because it's unaware. So, Brofus could try and take advantage. Like, if Black Oblivion wants to keep playing aggressive with the Scizor in U-Turn, he could kind of take advantage of that here by clicking uh, Moonblast. Uh, even though I still think Black Oblivion should U-Turn here, because even if the um, Clefable stays in, you could just go into Magnezone or into Pex and not really care. So, I don't think it matters much if Clefable stays in. Uh, so that's why I think, yeah, Black Oblivion should U-turn. If I'm Brofist, I'll probably just stay in and click Moonblast, to be honest. Because you don't want to go Zapdos and try and wish that up on a U-turn and then just have Mammal come back in. Especially if it is uh, Metronome, which is... Because we saw the Z-move now is on Lando. That means that the Scarf's on Latios. And that means that the uh, Mammal Swine is most likely Metronome. That would be my guess. Or Life Orb. But I don't think we've actually seen it throw out an attack yet. We've just seen it get rocks up. So I'm interested to uh, confirm that. Uh, so we see Moonblast, yeah, on the zone. Like I said, he could either go zone or pex there and just volt out, to be honest. Yep, just volt out. And, like, he's in he's in a no-loss no situation because even if he did go, or even if he did stay in there and protected and, like, to scout, it wouldn't matter because uh, the pex could just come in on the volt switch or the scissor and you just repeat the process and you just pp stall the clefable eventually but yeah you see uh earthquake on the jirachi so now brofist doesn't really have a switch into this like he could go into zapdos but then on the earthquake but then what well, he just ice crashes you next turn so it doesn't really get you much i guess the other play is to go into clefable but clefable doesn't work if the mammoth swine's metronome it's easily going to beat the clefable 1v1 so i don't think that's a great play either um, yeah, I don't know. I think Brofist just, I don't think he's going to win this because I think Mammal Swine's too big of a problem, uh, to be honest. But yeah, I don't think the Jirachi's going to stay in at all. So I would, if I was Black Oblivion, I'd just probably Ice Crash here. Um, but yeah, Brofist doesn't want to lose this because he kind of needs this for the Latios, so that becomes a bit of an issue. Although I guess if it's Scarf, the Clefable walls, but you don't want to get tricked. But then you also don't want to go Sableye on Draco, so it becomes 50-50s on the Latios when... This is like a really solid Lottie check anyway. Um, I guess this doesn't like getting tricked either though. This might be the sack to be honest. Because you still have the Chansey for the, the Magnezone. And um, you still have Clef and Sableye for Latios. But yeah, I feel like if you if you lose Clef, then um, Lando's going to be a bit of an issue. But I guess now that it's burned at Z... Oh, I was going to say Zapdos walls, but it was actually gravity, so Zapdos doesn't really wall it either. So, yeah, I think he wants to keep the Clefable around at all um, at all costs, or he's definitely in jeopardy of losing to uh, Landers. But yeah, Brof is trying to figure out what to do here. And, um, but yeah, I guess we didn't talk about, I like Black Oblivion's team. Um, I like, I actually do like Mammo a lot. I've used it a bit recently. It's actually, it's a really fun mon. It kills, like, everything. So, uh, he goes, Brofist, or Brofist goes Zapdos on the Earthquake. But the problem is, like, now, now what? This is my point of what I was saying before. You pivoted to Zapdos, but that doesn't even matter because you just took 25% and you're forced out anyway. And we see a crit on Clef. So now if this is Metronome, because we didn't see Life Orb, so I'm like nearly positive it's Metronome. Um, I'm pretty sure the next Icicle Crash would kill, I think. Because the crit did 51, so it would have been close regardless. Either way, okay, he just crits again, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> so dead Clefable, double crit. But like I said, if it is Metronome Mammo, which I'm pretty sure it is because we don't see Orb, Z-Move was on Lander, so what else is it going to be? Then um, eventually he just keeps spamming Ice Crash, and as long as he doesn't miss, it's going to keep getting stronger and stronger, and the Clef can't he wish, it, wish protect it off. So um, if you guys don't know Metronome, what that item is, if you're thinking like, what, what do you mean Metronome the move? Uh, I'm pretty sure a lot of people 
no metronome, but in case you don't, the uh, what it does is every time you use a move consecutively, the power gains by 1.2 times. So for example, like if um, Mammoth Swine starts spamming Ice School Crash, every time he clicks it will get 20% stronger, and it goes up to like two times the original uh, strength. So that's really good against like stall. Metronome Lele's been used too. I don't think in SPL, but I know Zomog uh, had an RMT with that. Because what happens is like they go into their wall and take like 30 or 35 from the first hit, and they keep trying to soft boil the damage off. But then every time you cook it again, it keeps doing more and more and more and more, and then eventually they just die because they it's doing more than what they could heal off with roost or soft boiled or whatever. Um, so yeah, Mammo's back in on Zapdos. So now we have to claim another kill. Goes Chansey. Um, and we see Ice Crash do a bunch, and now Chansey's forced to soft boil. But the next, oh well, never mind. Um, <laughs> so now we get a little bit of revenge hacks. I think that next Ice School Crash would have done like 37, and then after that, the next one would have done like 50, and then the Chansey wouldn't have been able to, uh, well, not 50. It would have done. I think the next one would have done about 20% more than 27, so that's like 32 to 33. The next one would have done close to 40, I want to say. Uh, but yeah, eventually he would have beaten the Chansey 1v1 too. So, um, but at least uh, the Chansey could have potentially gotten a Toxic off on the Mammal, which is why you saw the pivot into Scizor, because uh, Black Oblivion wants to keep this healthy. I feel like the only way he loses is if he lets this get uh, toxic So he just Ice Crashes again, does 36 with the flinch. But like, I don't think this matters because uh, Chansey's going to go... Would, like, even if Chansey healed there, it wouldn't have mattered because... Um, it was eventually going to die, and then I'm pretty sure that the uh, Lando just kills everything after that. So, um, yeah, that was a stall beatdown. But Black Oblivion definitely came prepared with his uh, SD Lando, his Metronome Mammo. Uh, so, yeah, good game to him. It was fun to watch. I actually think it's a surprise. Brofist is 1-3, and three, I think, now, um, which is pretty surprising. Um, or, no, I'm sorry, 1-2. One 1-2. And two. One and two. This is week 3. Yeah, so he's 1-2 and two now. Pretty surprising. He's a really solid player, so uh, I'd assume he... Um, gets back on track sooner rather than later but yeah looking at the score here we see that black oblivion with the win put the classius up 4-3 on the bigs um if you want to see how this week ended just go on smogon.com uh go to the tournament section click on spl and you can figure it out yourself so if you <laughs> if you enjoyed the video make sure you like comment subscribe and until next time ultra balls out peace